Uh, we do know that you've been plugged into the Braun camp literally since high school. We have the photo. We've seen this before. Yep, yep. We know that you've been there <laughs> since the beginning of this entire thing over there in Ohio. Uh, there's a lot of chatter about Brawny entering the transfer yeah, portal. Top. That's him right here, yeah. That's that's you, right, what, Wendy, right here? Yeah, I, I really had big, big arms. I played defensive hmm. tackle for Ohio State. Well, where well, that and black and arms, too, which yeah. nobody really yeah, understood. That's my, my old teammate. She well, listen, that's yeah. why, you know, you can't see, yeah. Yeah, that's why yeah. he wears a suit. That's uh -huh. right. That's why he wears a suit, you know. Uh, does what, so we know you've been plugged in a long time into the LeBron James camp. One of the coaches potentially here, a friend here, is now head coach at Duquesne. Old coach was the coach at Duquesne. Bronny answers, enters the transfer portal. People are like, all right, is he going to the NBA? Is he going to G League? But then you got people in Pittsburgh that uh -huh. are like, he's coming to Duquesne. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That is where Come on, he, Wendy, tell Do us. you have any inside information on what's going on with Bronny? And is the goal still for LeBron to play alongside Bronny on a team? Yeah, so this, LeBron kind of changed his, his the way he's talked about that during the season. He made it clear that that was – his dream it wasn't necessarily Bronny's mm -hmm. dream to play yeah. with oh. him um sorry and, dad and I shut up dad i will play <laughs> yeah. dad and, and i know that Bronny has like put statements out on instagram i really would like you know he's never really done any in an interview and i'm not even saying he's got to do an interview but i would love for us to stop guessing and asking you know lebron about what Bronny wants i would love it if Bronny would just come out and say this is what i want whether it's in an interview or whether he just makes a video or whether he comes on your show no, and no, says, this is what I would like to do. Game. And then there's clarity and there's no, there's no barriers. Here's what I'm going to say. When I talk to scouts about Bronny, they don't think that he was able to put his best foot forward this year because USC didn't play him in, the, in his position. They had several different uh -huh. guard prospects that were you know, NFL and, and, sorry, NBA draft prospects, and he played sort of on the wing. They say he should play point guard, which is where he played and excelled when he was in high school. And he obviously had that terrible health event that happened last summer. And he was expected to go right into playing Pac-12 basketball with no real buildup. So what the scouts are saying to, to me is that they've got to um, – he should go play someplace where he can show that he can be a point guard and okay. he can build up his skills. And that may not be USC. Duquesne That's will let him pass the ball. Yep. He'll, he'll be Jalen Brunson yep. dribble. Yeah. Big, yeah. He'll have the stats at Duquesne. I would love it. You're talking to somebody who went to the Duquesne games at the NCAA tournament to support Drew Joyce and Keith Dambra and the Dukes. Hell yeah, and I would love nothing coach. more yeah. than to see uh, to see him play at Duquesne. I think it would be great for him to play in the A-10. My guess is he'll want to play closer to home. But – the NBA scouts that I'm school. seeing, like like you see a lot of people who just put him down and say he's not an NBA player, or he's not ready. Okay, that's not that's not what the people that I talk to are saying. Why people I talk to are saying he didn't get to they didn't get to see him play his real position this year, so they want to see him do that. And maybe that happens in the G League, maybe that happens in summer league, maybe college basketball isn't the best venue. Okay. But I think Lithuania, he would really benefit from playing another year in college, especially since. He's one of the highest paid NIL guys in all college mm -hmm. sports. Yeah. Like just from a business standpoint. Um, and so I think all in talking to Rich Paul, who is his agent, I think all of those things are on the table and they're evaluating it. One of the big things with Bronny, he's gonna have to go through the NBA draft process. They're gonna want to see him, they're gonna want to put him through all the medicals and stuff like that. They're gonna want to put him through all the measurables at their combine in May. After that happens, which I'm which he's gotta go through. Then we'll have a better answer about what his short-term future might look like. Hey, Bronny, we're pulling for you, bud. Yep. We're big Good fans. luck, Get him, Bronny. Not easy to be LeBron no, James' no, son, no, obviously. Man. So any of that. And people are going to want to see him fail, obviously, because there's people that want to see LeBron James fail still at this stage of the entire thing. Bronny, we hope you go on and just absolutely dominate, pal. Build your own career. Do your own path. You deserve it. And do we it at Duquesne, right? And oh, do yeah. it at Duquesne. Boom. Bingo. Definitely. You should go take a tour around Duquesne. Maybe go down to Southside one night. Good that point. NIL deal will be able to serve you a <laughs> yeah. long way down there at about 50 cent drafts on every single night in Pittsburgh. 